Okay, so now the next thing we'll we'll see the quick configuration example on traffic traffic classification. Like uh, in this example, I want uh, the traffic which is moving from LAN to the internet. So I just want to say that the traffic which is coming from 10.1.1.1 and the traffic which is going to 30.31.1.1 should be allowed a telnet traffic between these two hosts from LAN to internet. So that's a very basic example. Uh, of course, we can add uh, multiple things like in the production scenarios, you, you generally don't do individual host. You just simply say match uh, protocol TCP and UDP. You may want to inspect all the traffic. But in my case, I'm just using a simple example of inspecting the traffic between 10, 10.1.1.1 and 3111 host and that to only telnet traffic. Now to match the specific traffic based on source and destinations, we need to write an ACL. So I'm going to write an ACL and this ACL is going to match the traffic between uh, 10111 and 3111 equal to telnet. And of course I can, uh, I, I, I suggest you to use some named ACLs because if you're using named ACLs, we can also do some kind of editing. Again, depending upon the iOS versions, uh, even in some new iOS versions, we can do editing uh, based on the numbered ACLs. But again, you have to use the new syntax of sequence number and other things. So let me go with a simple example here. So in my case, I, I do have this configuration already done on the interfaces. Like if I go to my interface S1 by 0, it's pre-configured with, with zones as, as we did in the previous lab. And if you try to verify a telnet, let me try to telnet or, or do anything ping. By default, the traffic is not allowed. Uh, between any of these interfaces from LAN to internet. So my requirement is first up, I'm going to write down an ACL which is going to match my traffic. Uh, I'll use named ACL instead of this LAN to internet ACL. And then I'm going to say that uh, permit traffic coming from 10.1.1.1 or you can specify the subnet. Uh, in my case, I'm just using the single IP because I'm, I'm not using the complete subnet here and then equal to telnet. So if I say show show IP access list, now this access list matches uh, 10 to 30. And then I need to create a class map Now the class map and it has to be type inspect. And we say land to internet class, let's say. And then we need to say match access group and the ACL name is LAN to internet ACL. Now there are multiple options. We can either match a specific ACL. Like I said, we can match the access group here. If you want to match the ACL or we can simply say match a uh, protocol, protocol option. Uh, if, you, if you are not using ACL, if you just want to match a telnet protocol, we can simply say match protocol telnet. But the difference is it's going to match any source, any destination. If the protocol is equal to telnet, then you can use match protocol option. But if you want to match a specific source or destination or maybe combination of both, in that case, we'll be using match ACL, um, match access group statement. So this is how we classify. So if you verify the configurations here, show on class map. I think I do have the default class maps which I have created. Maybe I'll just remove them. So I think this is not the one what I'm using. So we say show run class map. No class map type inspect. Let me remove this one. Because while I was documenting the workbook, maybe maybe I have added this. So this is the one what we, we just created. So this class map is going to represent, uh, is going to match all the traffic matching the ACL. And that ACL says if the traffic is coming from 10 to 30 uh, equal to telnet, it's going to match that particular traffic. 